Neil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue on this idea in previous videos of um, maximizing potential. Um, and we might say to ourselves, "What? Well, we're we're from? We're we're observant? We're orthodox? You know? What do you want?" And yet. Our Shabbos is cold. Our davening, our praying, is lukewarm at best. Our attendance uh, with the congregation, with the minion, spotty. We're doing what we're supposed to do, but it lacks. It lacks meaning. It lacks content. It lacks. Uh, it lacks achieving the potential. Uh, for a full and rich experience. And I'm reminded um, in asking how do we maximize potential, I'm reminded of a, um, of a medrash um, about um, Adam Arishon, Adam, the first man. And as we recall from the uh, beginning chapters of uh, Genesis, once Adam and Eve have eaten from the fruit <clears throat> of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they realize they were naked and they go hiding. <clears throat> the Spirit of God is moving through Gan Eden, through uh, the Garden of Eden, and God asks, where are you? What? God didn't know where they were? God didn't know where Adam was? He needed them to lift a hand? That they... Most people interpret this as an opportunity for Adam and Eve to come forward and say, listen, you know, I know you told us not to eat, but, you know, we're sorry, we, we gave in. They failed. They... Chazal, our sages, also have um, another, another approach. The question, where are you? Um, it encompasses more than it uh, seems to. Uh, it's a critique of Adam. This is, where are you? I created you. You were at the summit. You were at the top. Uh, you reached up to the heavens. You, I gave this entire world I made for you. And look at you. Where are you now? Naked, hiding, ashamed, afraid. Didn't live up to your potential. And this was uh, God's uh, rebuke, his, his musar, his, his lesson in, in ethics. Adam Arishon, Adam's failure to realize this incredible potential, it repeats itself in, in our own lives. It was um, Rebbe uh, Shraga Feivel Mendelitz. Uh, Shraba Fiva Mendelitz uh, would say that um, every person has a God-given purpose uh, in life. And we're judged not only by you know, the quality of our deeds, but are we, you know, had, did we achieve this potential? Did we fulfill this purpose uh, uh, in life to the extent to which uh, we've accomplished this personal uh, uh, purpose in life? Interestingly enough, when Reb Shraga Feivel Mendelowitz made this statement, he added, how does one know whether he has fulfilled his mission in life? And when he made that statement, uh, Reb Shraga Feivel started to cry. This is a, a guddle. This is a, a great man uh, who... Uh, Put together, who assembled, who catalyzed much of the uh, of the Torah environment in first and for, uh, post first post World War II America. Yet, even with all his accomplishments, he felt insecure as to whether or not he achieved uh, his own personal uh, potential. He was insecure regarding his own um, achievements. He never felt that he'd made it, and. Um, this process of trying to achieve our potential no matter what, not to be content to rest on our laurels, to always strive further, to go for more, that's, um, that's the key 
to to achieving our potential, not to be satisfied for less, regardless of our accomplishments. Always go for more. Always go for higher. Don't be settled. Don't be satisfied just to touch the mountain. Hit the summit. The process of trying to reach our potential is a never ending process. It's a never ending quest for achievement. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.